Hey everybody! Welcome to It's Classy QTV. You're watching the Couple Series. I'm Kiana. And I'm Mark. So today, as you can tell by the title, we're talking about waiting to kiss, um, our largest argument in courtship, our largest um, disagreement, yeah. I would say. Yeah. I mean, I, an argument or a disagreement, it's kind of the same thing, but we try our best not to argue, per se. Yeah. You know? Which nobody wants to do anyway. I know waiting to kiss probably sounds a little odd, it sounds a little weird, or even unnecessary, and mm -hmm. I totally agree with that because um, I struggled the most with that decision to, to wait to kiss. That was the one who, you know, had initiated it. Right. So. However, waiting to kiss is probably one of the best decisions that we've decided to make. Yes, right. yes, I would, I would agree. I would definitely agree. One of the best decisions. So he was the one who initiated waiting to kiss, but for me it caused frustration, um, you know, constantly going back and forth, even at times when I felt, okay, I'm at peace with it. And at first, when you first brought that to my attention, waiting to kiss, I actually was okay with that. I was like, oh my god, this is beautiful. I think I even cried, you know. But as time went by, I was like, wait a minute, like, we can't even peck. Like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with showing affection and I think actually I mentioned to you a couple that was doing that and I actually respected the guy for doing it but then when he decided <laughs> to, to make that decision it just I don't know I wanted to feel like his girlfriend and I wanted to have that connection but over time as I began to pray about it and of course we had multiple conversations about it I guess well, no, I know. The Lord started to change my heart. And in no way are we making anybody at home do this. We're not saying this is the only way to do it. We're not uh, condemning anybody at all. I'll just say even, we're going on three years of not kissing. However, we've been dating for almost five years. We definitely did kiss before, but kissing is what led to that conviction. This is just what we've decided to do and we want to share it with you. Yeah, so waiting to kiss, like Kiana said. Um, yeah, a lot of people did, they do ask, what do you do? Do you uh, do this or that or anything? <laughs> but simply because we are Christians and we realize that we have to flee temptation, kissing is such a strong temptation to lead to more. Uh, even a kiss itself can be sexual, depending on what you're doing. So rather than put yourself in that tempting situation to want more or to give in to those sexual desires, yeah, you know you want to be strong and flee that uh, when you're trying to live for the Lord. Mm -hmm. So it was a decision that came into the relationship, and it did cause disagreements. You know, there was a constant conversation for months about it, which I is asked, okay. Yes, yeah. I asked other people. We even in the premarital counseling, we talked about it. Sorry, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we definitely, uh, I sought after answers, I googled it, I, I looked specifically to see does the Bible say anything about not kissing, but it was never specific. The scriptures that convicted us were, like he said, fleeing temptation, um, and I'll put the scripture references below. So yeah, you know, and naturally your flesh wants to go against all of these things, um, but yeah, when you're really trying to live for the Lord, you want to do it the right way, and you know, I... I pray for wisdom about it too because I know she wanted to feel loved and connected and maybe I could have done it a different way with more words or more other you know other gestures but uh, I never meant to cause her any type of uh, affliction in the relationship I just wanted to make sure we were doing it the right way which I thought was the right way but we, we still don't kiss right now because we're still trying to just avoid that whole situation we're trying to flee temptation it's been going strong thank the Lord by the grace of God. Yes. And Kiana is now going to talk about, uh, I guess, how it helped our friendship. Not kissing has really, really helped us be really good friends. Because if you're not kissing, you're not all over each other. Right. It almost feels like you're just friends. I mean, we date. We have romantic interest. You find me attractive. I sure do. I find him attractive. <laughs> and it's like, okay, there's something there. But and we hold hands. We hold hands a lot, okay? Some people ask us, like, well, do you guys hold hands? Like, some of the people that know us personally are like, okay, if you guys don't kiss, then what do you do? <laughs> we hold hands. In fact, we hold hands all the time. Yes. <laughs> so that's a way of feeling connected. 
Um, but we've built a beautiful friendship and I've heard a lot of relationships or people just say in general some of the best relationships start off as friends uh, start off in a friendship and although we started off kind of like boom two years okay we're kissing pulling away from it has taught us so much more about just being really good friends <laughs> yeah yeah and it keeps your mind more focused and clear on building the relationship too because mm -hmm. you're not as they say, blinded by love mm -hmm. and physical and the physical you know, part. which can blind you. When when it's not just all about having the hots for each other, we have a friendship. We can laugh at everything. We can talk about anything. Um, <laughs> you know, we can pray together. Prayerfully, once we're married, we'll have our first kiss in three, four years or so mm. at the altar. <laughs> yes, yes, and all in all. You know, this message really just strives to encourage you all to do things the right way. We can't say not to kiss. Right. But we do say, if you are trying to live for the Lord, we pray that you have strength to flee temptation. Yeah. And pray for us too, because we're all human. Um, but this is our story, mm -hmm. you know, and we're not perfect, obviously. I'm not perfect. But it has been a blessed relationship, mm -hmm. thanks to the Lord. And uh, He really does see you trying to do well. Mm -hmm. And He's trying to help you to do His will, help you to do well. So some other points would be that it also caused a strain, an emotional strain, sharing that type of intimacy I felt with somebody who wasn't my wife. I didn't have any, t you know, ownership to the relationship. Not officially. Like, I'm not her husband, you know, so I can't, I don't have any say to who she is to me besides our dating, you know? So to share that intimacy calls a strain for me because how can I be so intimate with somebody who I don't have any right to, you know? And that's one of the main things. Realizing that this is God's daughter, our, our father's daughter, you know, our Heavenly Father's daughter and I'm his son. And if you try to live for him, you will try to flee those, those impure things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there was a strain, you know, and maybe you guys have felt that when you're being so intimate with somebody, but you can't always be around them. You know, they're not really a, a main fixture in your life just yet. Mm -hmm. So it even helps right, to alleviate right. that. It's already hard enough. So mm -hmm. giving into those type of feelings, and it might really, you know, tug your heart even even more. So that helps, you know, to alleviate some of that pressure as well. Um, but yeah, we do have a strong friendship, and I do love her. I do want to marry her. You know, and I'm praying about that. Pray for us. Pray for timing for us. Pray for wisdom for us. And yeah, that's our story. We're waiting to kiss. We're trying to do it the right way. So I'll just end with saying that it's always good to just be honest. My mom has always said that. Be honest with yourself. Whether it's being honest with wanting to be in the relationship, whether it's being honest about something that the other person... I mean, you just have to be real. You know, just be, just keep it real all the time. And I knew that the choice of waiting to kiss was probably really, really wise. But because that's what I saw all the time, or that's what I thought was the way to do it, I just wanted to do it that way without really um, digging inside myself. Like, okay, you know what? This is probably going to keep us from getting into temptation. And on top of that, this is a beautiful way of him actually expressing love for me. In a sense, just saying, like, you know what? I think... This would be so special for us to share this on our wedding day, along with all the other firsts to come. You know, why not add that too? Just talk about things, even if you have a disagreement. Perfectly, you can get through it. <laughs> yes. Be nice to one another. Yeah, always put the Lord first, and that helps your relationship. Yeah. You know, but really seek Him first. Put Him first. Put, put His Word first, and everything else stems from that. If you have personal convictions about it, then that's when you make the choice. But again, this is just what we did. <laughs> yes. Uh, right, love? Yes, ma'am. Alright, now give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. See ya.